coming in today and we're going to make some flapjacks. Okay, we've got the rest of the up on the screen. Before we start, can we just perhaps tell our young people in year seven, we can't wait to see next year, um, what it is that you're wearing and what you've done before you've got to this stage. So, Chloe. Um, we are wearing aprons to protect our stand from our school. We're getting dirty and we will be the final material that's going to be on. Okay, and I noticed that you've both well done before we think of having your hair up. Why do you put your hair up? Because otherwise, if, as we youth, we've done two bees and pops, so if the hair is down, it will be important. Okay, excellent. So we're well and truly safe. And I say thank you very much for coming and doing a little video for me. Going to make what today? Uh, yeah. Okay, so if you hold your saucepans up, okay, what have we got in your saucepan to start off with? We have 125 grams of butter. Yeah. And we have 125 grams of sugar. Okay, and who weighed those out? Who has to do all the way out? You. Did I weigh those out? Like, no, no. <laughs> Expectation is what you need here doing it all for yourself. So yeah. yeah. So first thing we're going to do, ladies, is we need to melt this, okay? okay. And we're going to want a really low hob. Why do you think we want a low hob? So it's a slow melt bottom. Yeah, if not, it'll stick. And we're going to get that caramelise it together. Yeah. So turn your hobs on and light them. If you don't want to do it, I'm happy to do it for you. Yeah. Yeah, you've got yes. I did it for you. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we've got our hob on nice and low. And also, we don't want the flame to come up down the side and catch your hands. Okay. So remember, safely hold it onto the um, saucepan. How do we hold it with the saucepan? We get the handles and we yes. Yeah, over you go then. Let's get those melted as the rest of the steps. How are you going to know when it's completely melted? When there's no lump? Um, when there's um, no sugar. No sugar be seen, and what about the feel? Do you know the feel to that feel as well? Yes. Like smooth, soft, like water. It'd yeah, be like water. water. Yeah, yeah, not too. If you see yours are suddenly going a bit clearer, yeah. yeah. So we're nearly there. And then what you want is this is really sticky, but I like this bit of bottle. So you want to pop yourself in four squirts so, of really golden syrup. Golden. One, two. Three, four. Okay. So if you want to take over that one and pass it to Chloe. Lovely. Stamming. Okay, while well, I'm happily stirring that away, I thought I'd give you a nice little tour of the kitchen. It's a commercial kitchen, and even at year seven, you'd be expected to work as Jamie Oliver um, or whoever your super chef is. Okay, we have 13 ovens available with two people to each oven, and so you'd be expected to do all your own work. We have all the equipment that an ordinary kitchen would have. Okay, it's just on a larger scale, so we've got frying pan saucepans big freezers and big fridges um, and the sinks as you can see you see the girls have already set up their sink for washing up later on so at the end of the lesson the kitchen looks look as spick and span as it does when you first come in the ladies have already been in and turned their oven on um, it's really important that you get used to turning the oven on because we want the food to be nice and hot when it goes in there so the bacteria doesn't have time to grow and to make you all poorly okay so now the last bit, ladies, is to add the porridge oats. Okay, and remember, I've asked you all before you've started if you've got any allergies. So if you can't actually have wheat, um, then we can always find you something different to use. Okay, yeah, whole thing can go in there. Okay, and then give it a good stir. Need a little bit of muscle power here. As you can see, whilst I'm mixing at the moment, the oats are sticking to the butter and sugar so that when I place it into these little containers, so I can cook them. So at the end of the day, we do all of our washing up as we're cooking it by ourselves. And 
now they are ready to go. Yeah. Well done ladies, they smell absolutely scrumulicious. finish we uh, like to clean up and clean it up so that so the next year group can use it without having put in any dirt on there or other ingredients on their food. So we're all really excited about you coming to join us in September and just to give you some idea while the ladies are carrying on doing their cleaning and cleaning. Um, you will start the year in September with looking at fruit and vegetables. So you'll be making fruit salad, you'll be making um, fruit crumble, and then as the year goes on, we move on to meat, and you'll be cooking things like shepherd's pie. Um, and I'm quite happy for anybody to give some suggestions as to their favourite meals. And um, we also look at fish, and you'll be making some fish cakes, lots and lots and lots of yummy dishes, and again, that you're going to make yourselves. Come to Harmon Academy! Enjoy cooking like we do. Because it is fun. <laughs>